This video was recorded in front of a live virtual audience. Hi everybody, Dacov here. Welcome back to my channel. Today's a fun video to lighten up the mood from the last video that we were talking about timeless classic double flap smalls and the issues that we're having with them uh, in general. You can check out that video in the card section up above or in the description box underneath this video. But the video we're going to talk about today is how to store this beautiful wonder of a uh, bag technology if you may of bag design so the small being my favorite of the entire range of timeless double flap timeless classics it's the best size it's the closest to coco's own size of a 255 but nevertheless she wore this type of size of bag always and um just the way the proportions fit with the flap as opposed to the bottom part of the bag it's just this is how this is how it looks best also for the shorter length of the chain it is such a classy classy length it's just amazing but this video is about how to store it how to position it how to take care of it basically which is not that easy <laughs> i mean it's relatively easy to take care of it but it's not that easy to figure out what the best way is to take care of it okay so we're gonna get to it but first Thumb up this video if you're liking it thus far and subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. You can also push the join button next to the subscription button. Become a member today and uh, gain access to extra perks. You can also join me on Patreon. Thank you for the super chat, my Sita. $4.99 super chat from Mazer to G. Thank you so much, dear. Thank you. Woo! Yay, you will forever be mortalized in this video in the future because this video is going to hit YouTube just like that with your super chat in it. Clever. So, um, join me on Patreon. Super Dacob all spelled together there as well. Gain access to extra perks. Thank you to all my patrons and members who have already pledged. Uh, also, thank you to all my ch code chatters because this video is being filmed live in front of a live virtual audience. I live stream every Saturday, so be sure to tune in every Saturday and join the fun, partake in these chats because uh, the live streams go on for hours and hours. So everybody's invited. So right now we're talking about the two, uh, not the 255, we're talking about the Timeless Classic Double Flap Size Small and how to store it properly. Now, I can tell you uh, one thing that Chanel tells you when uh, you look through their booklets when, that you get with the bag, they give you a little bit of tips how to store stuff. Or if you look on the Chanel website as of late, they also have a Chanel and Me section called Chanel and Me where you get little tips and tricks on how to take care of your bags and stuff. So they always say for these... Um, kind of harder shaped structured bags to store them standing upright. I agree. It's not always possible though. The 255, for example, has that fold at the bottom that I love to preserve. So uh, I, I got to kind of find a way to store that one laying down or to store it in a way that there's no flat surface. It, it should stand on a kind of a rounded Anyway, that's a 255 issue, but for the Timeless Classic, we store them flat. And first thing that is super important with this bag is how do we store the inside? So hopefully, if you purchase this bag in the boutique, they have given you also uh, the felt a little bit. Now, I bend this felt, which technically should go here. I actually fold it and put it up here so that this zipper pull does not dent the leather. So I always store the, and it's good that it's a black felt. Why? Because even when I'm out and about with this bag, I leave this here. So just be careful when you fold it that the zip leather, okay. So you see here, seeing through is also black it looks like a shadow so you don't see the felt so this is a way that i actually this is not just a tip for storing it this is also a tip for wearing it out and about i always have uh, that felt in there and um always have tissue paper in here and desiccants 
okay? You always want your desiccants. The more humid the area is you're living in, the more desiccants you want in here because, and I have like four or five in here just because I always want the bag to stay dry. Right? Right. Okay, closing it. Now, people never think about this, but it is so important. The back pocket. The Mona Lisa smile. This little fella here has a tendency, uh, because it's also lined in leather on the inside, it, it doesn't have fabric. This bag is fully made in leather. So, well, the padding inside is made in a, some tex like textile material, but everything, every surface of the bag that we can see from the outside is either leather or gold-plated uh, or gold-toned metal. So, there's this tendency uh, that this little back pocket here uh, it could stick, the leather kind of could stick to the, you know, the leather, the interior lining leather could stick to this leather, uh, in case you're maybe in a more humid climate. So you always want to keep them separate. How do you keep them separate? You take uh, the microfiber, they call this the kind of glove, because, see, you're supposed to kind of put this on your hand and then polish your bag with it which you can do, obviously, you should do from time to time. I do not, I have had this bad bag since 2015, so it's been six years now, and it's like spick and span brand new. I never use any chemicals on this bag. I don't clean it with, um, I don't clean it with any, any chemicals of any sort. And in fact, the Chanel Boutique also does not recommend it. So, to tell you, just keep it clean from dust, you know, dust it off every time you use it, empty it, shake it out, clean all the surfaces, wipe them off, make sure they're all dry, right? Uh, but um, I don't use any polishing creams or nothing on this bag. You take your, your pouch, your glove, your microfiber glove, and you got to make it flat. And then you put it in here, not too deep, but just deep enough and make sure that every corner of it is flat, that there's no, there, that there's no, you know, folding of the microfiber glove. So this is your separation between the pocket and the bag, meaning you're protecting the leather of the pocket and you're protecting the leather of the, um, Of the back panel of the bag these are just tips that i give you this is what i do personally for myself don't take my word for it you do you if you find a better way that works for you you know go go for it i'm just sharing with you what works best for me now that's the front of it i asked uh, my sales associate if i could get a second one and i did thankfully get one i put it here and I'm, we're gonna figure out why I put it here so then I lift this one and I put it on top make sure that this microfiber pouch or glove does not go over the bag that it doesn't go like this okay you don't want this to happen because later on when we stand the bag flat you don't want the bag to be uneven and you don't want this to cause a pressure point inside of the leather, causing the bag to get, you know, a sort of a dent in there. So be sure to lift it high enough so that it is far away from the bottom. What this pouch is going to help us for is to protect the leather here. We're going to get to why, why it's going to protect the leather. Now, next step, we're putting it in its dust bag. This is the dust bag that you get when you buy this bag. This is a size small. These dust bags are made for every size of the uh, Timeless Classic and 255 bag. So this is the small pouch for the small Timeless Classic. You put the bag in the bottom side of the pouch. And then here it folds. Usually you got to fold all of the... You got to lay the inside pouches flat like that 
And then you put your chain in here, in the little chain flap. Now, at this point, hold on, let me just lay it flat for a second. Okay. So at this point, I do something. <laughs> Let me show you. I take this bag and I put it inside a plastic, like a Ziploc type of bag, okay? Now be careful. If you live in a very humid place where mold can happen, be careful that there's no humidity collected inside of the bag. So make sure that the bag also has some openings or holes. This one happens to have holes here and here. So it does breathe, but still, I'm in a relatively dry climate. If you're in a very humid climate, this is very dangerous. So, but because I'm in a dry climate, and this works great for my bag and I've had it protected like this since six years and you see how beautiful it still is. Anyway, this is what I do. I let it fall flat like this. So I found one plastic bag that is exactly the length of the bag when it's bag plus the open fold here. Then I close the Ziploc. Let me put it down so I can close it tight. Hold on. We are going to Ziploc it. Okay. So now, now that I've Ziplocked it, I'm holding the chain in there so it doesn't fall down. The chain is going through here, through there behind my finger, and then it goes down here. You gotta stretch that chain out. Very important. Why am I saying this? Because now the next step that I do, I hold that chain. I gotta lay it flat again, hold on. You gotta do this when it's flat. You can't do it while it's hanging up. So I'm gonna do it now, and then I'm gonna show you what I did. Okay, you, you stretch that chain, as I, as I told you, as much as you can out into the corners of the flap. And then, now let me take all the air out of the plastic bag. No, not supposed to roll it. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Now that we have it like this flat, all the oxygen is out. Well, not all, but a lot of the air is out of the bag. You're using this interior um, microfiber pouch. You're using the exterior plastic. You're using this microfiber bit, and you're using the little microfiber glove that we position right here you're using all of that as extra layers for what? For actually protecting the leather of the bag from this chain. Why am I saying this? Because what we're going to do now, we're going to fold. See, my chain is in here. And uh, there's a lot of layers between the bag and the chain. And as if that weren't enough, what we're going to do still on top of that is fold this. One more time. And there you have it. So I have my chain in here. And there's a lot of layers between the bag and the chain. So the chain has no chance of pressing and denting into my bag, into the leather. Now, this I place in another bag <laughs> because I'm crazy. I'm just telling you how I do it. You don't have to do it like this, obviously. I'm just showing you how I personally do this. Okay, and then I... This is a smaller little Ziploc bag. Now it's standing there like this. This is a Y3 Ziploc bag, by the way, from one of my Y3 hats, I think, or caps that I got many years ago. And then everything is put into this soft... Um, 
polyfoam something something I don't even know what this material is called really but it is very soft and I put it all in here so that there's like this kind of soft layer that I kind of turn downwards and there you go my bag has a soft cushioned bottom now because I Put that layer at the bottom and there you go and then i store it inside a box or inside the wardrobe just somewhere where nothing else is going to kind of dent or press into it you know don't put it close to things that can um squish the bag the bag needs its space it needs air to breathe it needs space to breathe and don't forget to at least once a week Take the bag out of its plastic prison because it doesn't like to stand there forever. You need to let it breathe as well. This is just to store it, N not long term. At least once a week, if you forget, every other week is also okay. Take it out, let it breathe, move it around a little bit, give it some oxygen. But this is a really good way to protect it, to store it properly. So let me get to your chats. <laughs> Ali Soto says, Dacob transcends time and space. Mimi Bell says, wow, Dacob, wow. P77 says, you make fashion sound like physics in a good way. Thank you. Jen says, wow, that's so professional, Dacob. Thank you. I know I'm a total Chanel geek and nerdy. You know, I love my bags. And once a Chanel bag enters the fashion bunker, it will be loved and protected forever. Uh, so it's like these bags are like my babies. You know, I treat them with a lot of love and respect. So this one is six years old now and uh, I'm so proud of it. And so I protect it as good as I can. Um, Angela Kivlox says, Jacob, like a Chanel professor, love it. Feel like a student inside a Chanel classroom. Z Jones says, I take your words of advice, verbatim, uh, for caring for my Chanel babies. But if you are in a, a humid climate, be very careful with plastics, you guys, because they can condensate humidity. I'm usually appalled to see how roughly some YouTubers handle their Chanel bags, but really appreciate the way you love and care for yours. Thank you so much. Ada says, am I still in the line? Yes, you are. <laughs> um, thank you guys so much uh, for tuning in, for watching my little wrapping of my salami, of my little sausage here. My little tiny, uh, beautiful uh, sausage. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, thumb it up. Subscribe to my channel. You can also push the join button, uh, become a member today, and you can also join me on Patreon, Super Dacob, all spilled together on Patreon. You can access extra perks. Amongst the many perks is being listed here uh, at the end of every video in the credits as co-producer of the Fashion Bunker. Thank you so much to all my patrons and members who have already pledged. You too can partake in every live stream. I live stream every Saturday. So every Saturday you can join the fun, um, be in the live chats, talk with us, uh, chat with us, co-review stuff with us. Uh, it's an open community. Everybody's invited as long as you're respectful and have love to share. I would love to know in the comment sections down below how you store your uh, favorite Chanel bags or any bag that you love so much and you treasure so much like I do. Uh, this particular little baby, maybe you have some great tips to share that I haven't heard of yet. I'm always interested in finding out new ways to store my bags. Um, it is kind of a little bit like a science and I'm such a geek. I love to perfection it more and more as time passes. It, that's just the way I, I is. What can I tell you? Let me see if there's more comments that came in. Let me scroll to the bottom. <laughs> Jack says, you're a true archivist. I'm never this thorough. Stephanie says, how often do you take them out to use Dacob? I, so um, if, even if I don't use it out and about, I mean, during the pandemic, there was like no way of going out anyway. So I didn't use it for like almost two years, right? But I still take it out at least once a week or every two weeks just to look at it, to admire it. I was lucky during this entire lockdown situation because I have a YouTube channel and because my YouTube channel is also dedicated to bags and, and fashion and Chanel. So this baby got a chance to get loved and used through my videos. So in fact, uh, this bag was used a lot in my videos throughout the entire lockdown. So in fact, it got to see the spotlights, the air oftentimes. I made several videos with this bag throughout this uh, entire pandemic. So um, 
Uh, this one got used a lot in reality. Even though it wasn't worn out and about in the city, it was used a lot in the fashion bunker and for filming. So this little bag is a star. It's been the star of many videos on my channel. So in a way, it found a new life throughout the lockdown because it's being used constantly, even uh, as, we, as we speak now in the fashion bunker. Ada says, thanks for the show. Thank you. Paige says, Dacob has my uh, pursuing medium light caviar classic flowers with gold hardware. The dream. This is the small. LOD says, thank you, Dacob. Julie Scott says, thanks, Dacob. Thank you, guys. Dacob will be back for a short intermission. Ya betcha. See you then, guys. Until next time, never forget to never give up on love. Love you all. See you soon. Take care. Bye. Mwah.